but this is the one I was saying is giving me Caribbean royalty because this is not Lagos royalty. The only thing really Lagos royalty about this look is her hair. But other than that, this is giving me Caribbean royalty. If you cut the down part of the dress, she's going to carnival, like. of a niger chick and welcome to another rank fashion of the week episode so today we are talking about all the fashion that we saw on the real housewives of lagos premiere carpet so first of all let us address the elephant in the room i'm in a booba and a i don't even know what this is called but it just happens to be this is a sunday and this is what i threw on and i decided let me just try and see if i can tie the girl please do not roast my headgear it took me five tries to even make it look like this so i guess this is what i'm gonna look like for the video today all right so real housewives of lagos first of all if you're on this channel you know that that is my show i am leaning into it now before i used to do like mm, maybe i don't like it i just watch it for the review no 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 that is my show i love the drama i am here accepting the fact that i love the drama anyways that's my show so the premiere was yesterday and there was a theme for this premiere i love a themed premiere because nigerians know how to show out the theme was a co-royalty lagos royalty so whatever royalty feels like and then make it lagos that means make it nigerian in my interpretation of it so let us look at all the looks we saw on the carpet well not all some of the looks we saw on the carpet and decide who was lagos royalty or who was caribbean royalty because i saw a lot of caribbean royalty last night i did not see that many lagos royalty but let's get right into it as usual with my fashion videos please do not take me seriously i'm just doing this for fun do not send any hate to anybody of course i mean i don't know anything about fashion i'm just talking it <laughs> most of the things i see on the carpet i cannot afford it but it's fun to talk about it and i've watched a lot of fashion so i do i think i do know what my eyes like and do not like so let's get right into it i'm going to start with the housewives and first off we have iyabo in this very beautiful dress now this is a gold number this dress is very beautiful i'm looking at a video right now the dress is very beautiful it photographs very well but can i say something i think this is probably like an unpopular opinion the dress is very beautiful but for some reason it did not do it for me she has a nice body everything like everything was matching but somehow the dress it's a fine dress, but it did not do it for me. I just don't know why. I think it has to do with the draping on the shoulder. Maybe if they took that part out, I just didn't really like it. And then when you get into her face, um, <laughs> for somebody who doesn't like wigs and all the trimmings, I don't think that hairline is right. It's supposed to blend in better. The updo thing is fine, but mm, I didn't really like that hairline. And her makeup was fine, I guess. But again, something was just missing in this look for me. I don't know if the gold was too much or if I needed a pop of color. I don't know. Something was just missing. But she's a very fine woman and this was a very fine dress. Lagos royalty, is it? I'm not sure, but Iyabo is Lagos royalty herself. So whatever. <music> Choma good hair and of course we all know in this house that Choma loves a good fashion woman. Now this is by Vicky James. Look at this dress. This dress is perfection. Now is it truly like Lagos royalty? If you want to really be traditional it is not but it is so fine I can give her a pass. The hair thing I am so in love with. Everything about like Vicky James is a designer. I mean look at this dress. This dress can stand up to like any global stage, any award show, any red carpet, this dress can stand up to it. Like she looks really good. And when you get into her face, of course, her makeup is really on point as well. I love the way she did her hair. I love the jewelry she has on. Like everything is perfect. This look to me was definitely a 10 over 10. Next housewife, we have Laura Ikeji, also Laura Kanu. And she is pregnant. We all knew that as the show um, drew to a, a premium. We all knew that. I love what she's wearing. I couldn't find another full like picture, but I love the dress. I love the whole form moment. I didn't really like her makeup. I feel again with the makeup I'm seeing, I feel like 
I don't know why I feel like something brighter would have been it but yeah I still like this look like I mean it's not easy as a pregnant woman to even wear clothes and go anywhere so to look this fine definitely I give her props now again is this Lagos royalty no but is it royalty yes so do what we want with that info was it on theme yes and no i like then it we have incoming new wife tiana omotayo in this beautiful gold number this is so classic so mm, it's not understated but it's so classic simple but not simple and then whatever is going on on that her hair i am in love with i love her earrings i love the jewelry she chose again i didn't see like a full look i would have loved to see if that was like a cape moment in the back but she looked so so good and then see that makeup that is the brightness in the face i was looking for it has nothing to do with her complexion it has something to do with the fact that her lips are a little bit pinkish she has more like pinkish and um, um, um what's it called blush going on her eyeshadow is, is you know it's not really nude it's popping in your face so i really really love like i think to me Sienna to me was one of the best dressed of the night. I will just say that. I mean, and she's a gorgeous, gorgeous woman. Lord have mercy. I cannot wait to see her on the show to see what she brings to the table. I really cannot wait. Definitely a 10 over 10, 100 over 100 look for me. Beautiful, beautiful. Then we have the other new incoming housewife, Faith Mori, in this blue number. First of all, it is giving booby, 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 booby. So, I like this look it's a beautiful dress but then i don't know i think it's a little bit too much ruffles for me i mean you got the ruffles you got the feathers pick a struggle but you see her headgear that headgear is to die for i really really love that headgear that he headgear is everything um i think i like the look i'm just not in love with the look but she looks really good uh, this one looks like she'll have drama <laughs> so i cannot also wait to see her on the show i think she should have done something different with her hair but if you ask me what i do not know <laughs> so <laughs> my opinion doesn't matter anyway a very beautiful look a good look for a premiere that you're just coming in on the show so the housewives that were not present except i am wrong were tiana and miriam is there any other person I'm missing? Caroline has gone off the cast, so those were the... I, I don't know why Tiana was not there, but then again, I mean, I'm, I would have loved to see her interpretation of Lagos reality. I think she would have, you know, wowed us. She's really good with that. And then Miriam, of course, I know would have come like in a dress as well, like these other girls, probably something sheer, but she'd have still been beautiful all the same. I don't know why they were not there, but yeah, that's that. Next up, we have another housewife, this time around from Abuja, Princess J. Coco in this orange number with her headgear so i love princess that's my girl if you've watched all my review of um, um real housewives of Abuja, you know we had a half starting but she became my girl but my love this dress i am not liking first of all i don't think the color suits her it's structured but a little bit too structured for her body especially when you look at the shoulders it's like uh, yeah my love is giving a little bit too much it's too much going on under the dress and the headgear those bald things i don't even know what they're giving me but they're not giving me royalty that's for damn sure i don't like her shoe i feel something a bit slicker would have been better not something with such a huge platform but then again that is just me we're going to talk about the person she is with later all right so she's still fine no doubt her makeup was very good that was on point but this dress was just not for me now the other housewife from abuja that was there was comfort as well and this was her interpretation to lagos reality so if you've watched again real housewives of abuja which <laughs> comfort and style and fashion it's a we are getting there I think this is her interpretation of lagos reality and i'm not mad at it i'm just not it's just not for me you know it's not just for me the only thing i think i really like about this look is the cap and the earring she has on this uh, red things about the band of the cloth they just clash with the entire look why couldn't they have used something like lilac which is on the hat there like a lighter purple i don't know that thing just clashes like is it part of the dress is it bit i don't know what you're wearing but like i said this is her interpretation it would not have been my first choice that's why i'm not there <laughs> but yeah that's comfort for you then let's go and talk about modella who was standing next to princess chikoko here have you seen what that girl is wearing 
to me that is lagos royalty she re, i don't know repurposed the agbada into whatever this is like i really i want to see what she's wearing exactly in the material that's how good it was and then the girl was over it's all over the place like what more lagos royalty than this everybody pack it and go home modella brought lagos royalty like she brought royalty she brought the lagos and she matched it together and she said oh yeah people should collect and i collected <laughs> like she looked so freaking good i loved what she had on look at just like 10 over 10 100 over 100 give it to her everybody go home next up we have social media influencer and everything youtuber everything kiki in this look again lagos royalty they brought i think that is damask whatever it is this is lagos royalty with the gele as well she looks really really good i love the jewelry she had on the only thing i think i didn't like about kiki was her makeup i think i've seen her makeup better like way way better today's makeup was just not giving it for me but she looked so good that dress perfection definitely a 10 over 10 next look. up we have miss kim oprah in this small mini dress that is made with like a shocking material i think it is again i loved her take to look else royalty using a locally sourced material the embroidery i love her jewelry the necklace i love everything even her makeup even though it's a little bit understated i really like it i don't mind it at all is this a 10 over 10 look for me not particularly maybe a 9 over 10 but she's such another beautiful beautiful girl definitely i'll give it to her she looked good my girl has been sleeping now so people should just take it like that should i just take it off <laughs> next up we have bbn alum beauty takura in this um, number now this is again another very fine girl another very fine dress but this is the one i was saying is giving me caribbean royalty because this is not lagos royalty the only thing really lagos royalty about this look is her hair but other than that this is giving me caribbean royalty if you cut the down part of the dress she's going to carnival like but again very fine girl i loved her jewelry i loved the stacking of her bracelet i loved everything i loved the hair i love the fact that she kept her neck bare because the clothes is already very like busy and you know blingy and all that very beautiful dress very beautiful girl but i think you went to the wrong event oh i loved her eye makeup as well that was very very beautiful but this dress to me did not belong on a carpet that is themed lagos royalty but it's very beautiful so i'll give her that then we have friend to the show, Dan Rele on the red carpet. Um, he looked very good. Lagos royalty, I think so. I love the hair. I love the dress. I love the extra. We all know he's extra. I love how extra the outfit was with small, small tail. I love it. I think he interpreted the theme to an extent. I think he did interpret the theme to an extent. I will give this look an 8 over 10. Yeah, he did good. The last look we're going to be looking at is Urel on the red carpet as well. So Urel, this is not a fine dress. First of all, why am I seeing that the dividing thing? Why couldn't they use a nude material for that thing? Why am I seeing that the butterfly seems too big and is not placed properly? Like, uh, I like her from neck up. Her makeup, the headgear is fine, but from neck down, I do not like this dress. This dress is not for me. I do not even understand what is going on behind the dress. Is it a cape? Is it not a cape? Like, I really don't get it. Did not belong on this carpet or any other carpet I could think of right now. So, this is a 4 over 10 on account of her makeup and her headgear was beautiful. Other than that, no. And that is it for Rank Fashion of the Week this week. Make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure that you are following the Facebook page. Not just liking. I've discovered recently that some people were only liking the page and not following. So please check to make sure that that's not you. And make sure you tune in on this channel because <laughs> Real Housewives is about to start. Again, if you're a watcher to this channel, you know how much I like that show. So I'm definitely going to be reviewing the shows. It drops on the 29th, so my review will be up on the 30th every week i'm going to be reviewing the show and we're going to be talking about all the drama and whatever happens after the episode is if the ladies bring the drama to social media we're definitely going to be talking about all that and more so make sure you are tuned in make sure your notifications are on make sure that you are checking for me because i'm going to be checking for you all right i will see you next time bye